Hey guys, today's a collab with Bethany's Betas. The collab is us telling you stories of crazy moments our betas have done in the, our whole lives of fish keeping. So, with my stories, I actually have filmed some of those crazy moments that I will be showing you. I think I have three stories. So, I'm going to start with the craziest one. Now, the craziest one was with my old beta fish flag. Those of you that have been on my channel, watching my videos for a very long time, might know him because I have made, posted some videos of him in my past earlier videos. And there's actually a picture of him right up there on my wall, but I will show you a picture of him on the screen. Um, he was actually my favorite beta and he did the craziest thing any beta of mine has ever done. So here is the story. I actually did catch his crazy moment on film, but I think that video is lost and I because I can't find it and Probably got a race somehow, but if I find it, then it will be in the screen next to me. But in case I don't find it, I'm going to try and tell you a lot of detail about this story so that you can get an image in your mind of what it really did look like. So let's begin. So Flag was just an ordinary real tail blue beta fish and one day I was filming him and he suddenly wanted to do something for the camera so he swam down to the bottom of the tank to where a shell was a shell that looks like shell that looks like one of these but a different color um, so he swam down to the shell he looked at it and then all of a sudden, he starts crawling under the shell and completely disappears under the shell. So I'm filming and like, he doesn't come out. So then I realize he's trapped under the shell. So then I drop the phone and immediately get like a stick or something and lift up the shell and then he comes bursting out to get some air. So that was like one of the craziest things he's ever done. Um, I hope you can imagine what that looked like. So the next story is about um, one of my female betas. Her name was Scarlet. She was red. And at that time, I didn't actually know that Scarlet was another word for red. I just named her Scarlet. So... She was a very regular beta because betas are known for jumping and she was definitely a jumper. So she wanted to be the boss of the tank. She was very aggressive, especially to one specific beta. And so I put her in a cup to get used to the betas instead of attacking them. But she refused to stay in the cup, so I didn't have a tank. I didn't have a lid for the tank yet because that was like she was like she was one of my very first female betas in the sorority, so I didn't have a lid for the tank yet. So I put her in a cup floating in the tank, and I went away, came back, and the cup was empty, and she was in the tank. And I thought I had remembered, and I thought that I put her in there, but I wasn't so sure, so I just put her in there again, and left, came back, she was out again. And that time I knew I put her in the cup, so I put her in again. I sat in a chair next to the tank and just watched her and then all of a sudden she just jumped out of the cup and that really scared me <laughs> and I did actually catch it on film because every time I put her in the cup she'd just jump right back out but I guess it wasn't really jumping it was more like crawling out so yeah she just like slithered up the, the side of the cup and like made her way over and back into the water so that's very crazy thing she did and then she eventually died from jumping out of the tank because I still didn't have a lid but I do now 
So the final story of a crazy thing my fish have done was with Delilah number one. So Delilah number one, I do have a video for this. Um, I was recording her one day and she just froze and started dropping down, sinking down to the bottom of the tank. And so I was just following her as she sank down. Then she reached the bridge. Then Haley comes down and acts like a doctor. They were kind of like putting on a play for me. It was really cool. I mean, really cute. Um, of course, it was scary at the same time because I didn't know what was I didn't know what was wrong with Delilah. But anyway, Haley came down and looked at Delilah. First, she fanned Delilah with her one of her fins, her side fins, and then Delilah started um, drifting down the bridge because of the current she was making with her fin. And when she reached the bottom of the bridge, she stopped. And then Haley came down again to her and said, "Well, that didn't work." So she was going to give her a shot. I bite her in the tail. So she did that. And Delilah woke up and started swimming up to the surface for air, so Haley saved her life. <laughs> Not really. But you know what, you could just watch the video. So that is it for all of my crazy moments my fish have done. I'm sure there are other ones that I can't think of at the moment, but that was the craziest stories that I remember that my fish have done. So please tell me in the comments which one was your favorite, and please subscribe and subscribe to Bethany's Betas and go check out her video, which will also be linked in the description. Um, so yeah, bye!